Super Maniac here with another Zerv video. I'm sorry I am a day late, but holiday plans got in the way. I am back to my normal residence. Visited the in-laws for a week or so. Got some good shit right here, man. We got the Vigilance Wing, one of the funnest pulse rifles to use. It is actually, I would say, one of the best, un or one of the most underrated PvE exotics. You have a five round burst and heals on ally death. So if an ally goes down, you get you can heal yourself. So it's better for a PVE kind of game where you know your teammates are gonna probably die a lot. And yeah, the Vofo Tracer Relentless Tracker is its perk. Visually marked marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low health marked enemies. That's pretty interesting. And yeah, the Peacekeepers Titan bo Titan Boots reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Really good for if you use the anti D and maybe a Uriel's Gift combo kind of thing. Pump out Uriel's Gift. Then you could pull a fully loaded anti if you didn't reload it before. Then you got I have another World Warlock helmet. Highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Really good. Even it's... I'm not going to say it's like perfect for the Crucible, but it's really good. It's good for the Crucible, but I find it more useful in PvE. Also, guys, you know, for good luck, let's dunk on Zer a little bit and open up our Faded Engram. See if we can get some good shit. Uh, 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 what do we get? The Crimson Hand Cannon. Apparently, this is supposed to be like Red Death from D1. We shall see. I do not know. I haven't used anything like this before. So, uh, if you guys want to see a video on the Crimson, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will get that for you guys as soon as I can. Anyway, guys, I hope you visit there this week. Let me know what you get in your faded engrams. And a peace.